Hello, I'm back to sorting all the Battlestar Galactica pins. I finished off the roughly 1500. As you can see, it's empty, the tray's empty. And uh, this is what's happening. Um, turns out, yeah, the Starbucks had very few, as did the round Cylon ones and oval ones and this character here there is uh, an, a fair quantity of the alien figure and uh, lots of the Muffet figure ones both in round and a lot of them in um, oval so I'm wondering because the bag was open I'm wondering if for some reason or other they took out the majority of the Starbuck, Cylon, and that other character. Uh, I don't know why they would, but I'm wondering if that's what the case is. So I'm hoping that the other two bags have a regular quantity of the Starbucks pin. So yeah, and uh, hopefully he's a little more common in the other two bags of 2000 because they haven't been opened or hadn't been opened until I went through them looking for uh, charms and rings and uh, weeding out damaged ones. I still ended up with a handful of damaged ones and off-center and bent pins that couldn't be straightened properly and so there's a few of them and uh, totally broken ones and I did get four more charms out of that lot and I'm thinking that the sets are going to use or have the little uh, stoppers on them or these little protectors. So that's how I'll sell the sets is with little protectors. So they're a complete pin. Uh, there's definitely nowhere near that as many protectors as there is pins. There's a very limited number of them as well. So that's how I'm going to end up selling them, I think, with those little protectors. But uh, yeah, there's, there's tons of these Muffet pins, so I don't know. I'm going to see, I guess, how it goes sorting the next 2,000. So I'll let you know coming up. So here's what 2,000 pins looks like in a beer tray, in a beer flat. Um, yeah, lots of pins. Got tons to go through, and I'm seeing actually quite a few other... Uh, of the other characters now in this batch. So I'm thinking that uh, that 1500 had the Starbuck and uh, that other character again and the, the Cylon pins weeded out of them or a lot of them weeded out for for one reason or other. Um, maybe there was some sort of special promotion or something happening. I don't know. But it uh, looks like there's a lot more Starbuck pins in here. So Maybe we'll make that 400 lots of uh, pins yet. So we'll see. Okay, wish me luck. So I'm about halfway through the second batch, the uh, first batch of 2000, but uh, the second batch of pins. And uh, yeah, I've actually located another ring, which is cool, and uh, a few more charms. Uh, finding a lot less of the Muppet pins and uh, yeah probably a good thing that there was a bunch in the other one because it'll even up even out a bit but uh, yeah starting to fill up a bit and there's more of the Starbuck pins but still there's still much less of them than there is the others so yeah and uh, did get four of the scarcer one so yeah that's kind of cool so it'll be kind of at least four complete sets i guess you could say so yeah i've got lots to go though another thousand to sort and another bag of two thousand to sort so yeah i've got three thousand to sort yet fun 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 so the first 3500 are now sorted uh there's actually nine different pins now uh, there's the one Starbuck one that there's only, well, a few, very few compared to the other ones. 
the second Starbuck one is probably the second most scarce. And then uh, the other ones are pretty much the same all the way along with there being quite a few more Cylon pins compared to uh, everything else. Although there seems to be a lot of Muffet pins as well. There's a whole ton of them in the oval and pretty much an average amount in the uh, round. So there's a whack of them, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, so the first initial sets are going to be a little higher, I think, than the set of eight. So the set of nine will be significantly higher, probably $50 higher, I think, something like that. I'm still mulling it over. Um, considering the rings match, that match the pins sell for about 75 Canadian, um, that's about, well, about 50 to 65 thereabouts US, maybe more. I've seen some of them going for 70 US. And uh, so I suspect the scarcer pins should be something similar, but we'll probably let them go a little cheaper than what they should be. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but I did find another ring. So I've got 13 rings now. So yeah, and they're, like I said, they sell for upwards around 65, 70 US. So I'll be putting them out and make them available. And then the charms, I got a few extra charms as well out of this batch. So they're adding up as well. I've got a, a bunch here. So there's small quantity though. So they're going to be a significant dollar as well in sets. We're not sure how many sets I'll have actually because there's very few of some. Anyway, uh, yeah, and then more broken ones and ones that just didn't meet the grade. They've got corrosion or they're off center or whatever. And uh, some broken ones as well. So yeah, on to the next 2000 and that'll be in the next video. So it'll be the last 2000 to go. So thanks for watching guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Take care folks.